Hey guys, this is Amazul, and today we're going to discuss hand or FPS mining. First, I'm going to say this. If your goal is big bucks, forget it. You will only be making about fifteen to 25000 per hour. Now, with that said, if you're looking for a relaxing time, I can't think of anything better to do. No other career offers the exploration potential that you will get from hand mining. You can do this activity in caves, planet surfaces, and even in space. And all three locations will have Hadnite, Aphrodite, right. and Doline. So, let's get into this. The first thing you will need to do is get a multi-tool and orbit mining attachment. This can be found in most space stations in either the cargo bay or refinery. Next, you will need at least one backpack. I personally like to load one on my back and another four into my ship. This cuts down considerably on travel time. Additionally, I would highly recommend you bring a Bormax mining gadget with you. These can be found in most refineries. Next, we need to talk about how to mine. First, you will need to find a node and scan it. This is done by right-clicking to enable ADS. Upon finishing, you will see the status change and be given greater information about the rock. First, on the right, you will see the resistance, which looks a bit like a rock. Then the instability, which looks a bit like a rhythm strip. Then you'll see the mass, which had a fairly classic weight symbol. And finally, the type of rock you are mining. On the left, you will see your rock's energy levels. And in the center, you will see the mining tools remaining power and power level. Your goal is to keep the energy levels in the green. This is done by scrolling up or down with your mouse wheel. If you can't, and it bumps into the red, you can expect to take damage and watch your precious materials scatter to the wind. Next, we need to decide where we're going. Cave mining is by far the easiest way to go, as all you will have to do is find one and walk in. However, one thing to remember is that it's wise to bring a sidearm. On occasion, NPC pirates will spawn inside and try to shoot you. Expect to make about 15 to 20k per hour here. Next, there is Space FPS Mining. By far my favorite, and slightly more involved than getting lost in a cave. The first thing you will need to do is figure out how to get to Belt 5 of the Halo. I will provide a link in the description to get the correct distances. Next, you need to understand, you will be flying between large mineables, searching for a gash in the side of them. In this gash, you will be able to find 1 to 5 nodes. At this point, I have not seen more than 5 in one gash. Now, unlike on the ground, some of these will not be soloable, as they have a fairly high mass and resistance, but thankfully, as of 3.17, we now have mining gadgets that can make them soloable. These gadgets can be found in various refineries and consoles, as I mentioned before. Finally, there is surface mining. It's difficult, but certainly doable as of 3.17. The reason is you have to be within 500 meters of a deposit to reliably find one. To find the deposit, all you have to do is fly low and slow and simply ping and ping and ping and ping. And did I mention pinging? All right, citizens, I hope this was informative and that you enjoyed the content. Have a great day.